Hey guys, in the previous tutorial we covered this cube and we have it all nice and set up and hollowed out. But what is a building without floors? I mean, unless you like big atriums, but especially for larger buildings. Um, so in this tutorial we're going to be covering how to make floors. And the best way I can think of is actually to show you all on Excel to work out the logic and then we can go into Unreal Script or wow <laughs> sorry um, Unreal and plug it all out so um, what we're going to be doing is something called modulus which is essentially a the programming term for getting the remainder of that and actually it's um, pictured here in Excel so let's this is our going to be our z-axis over here and these numbers represent how many blocks so let's just do this plus however whoops, however many we decide to drag okay let's say our building is 23 blocks high modulus simply is taking the number of the block and dividing it by a n another number. So um, let's divide it by 2 and I'll show you like that. So you'll notice that for every single block that's carried out, on the second one it, it makes it back to 0 and counts like that. So if we bump this up to 4, you'll see that it counts to 4 and this is what our what our floors are going to be. So our floor is going to be this one, this one, this one. So as far as our if statement goes, oh, and this is like floor zero. Um, so as far as our if statement goes, we can say if the this modulus part is zero, then drop a floor there. Not then. Don't do anything. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. There we go. Wow. Um, sorry about that. All right. So there we are. So you see that it drops our floors, um, in this case, four spaces away. And so we can adjust it to our character size and make it as big or as small as we want. We could even randomize the modulus if you choose to do so, but that part's completely up to you. So let's let's actually do this on Unreal. On Unreal. Um, so in the construction in the construction script, uh, first thing I'm going to do just to clean things up is I want to select all of these over here and put it inside of a node just to make things a little bit neater and we also need to do this um, modulus before we run the hollow part because we want our floors to follow to um, fall inside of the hollow so we'll say that if our mod or, or if our modulus statement returns false so if it's not a floor, then make the rest of it hollow. If not, or if it's true, then make a floor there. Okay, so this is what we need to do. We need to take our, if you remember from our Excel graph, we need to take the Z index, do a modulus of some number, and then do our if statement. So, we take the index, we do a mod of some number. Um, in this case, let's make a variable for it. So, we'll call it uh, room height and make it public so that we can modify it in the over here. Um, so drop in mod height also make this set to something 
So let's do let's do four. Um, so we take the index, we get the modulation or the modulus of that, and then we do our if statement saying uh, if this is equal to zero. Pipe that loop statement into here, and if it returns false, go to the hollow, this hollow statement over here. If it's true, then make a floor. And so you'll see over here that, well, this actually might be a little bit too small to actually show anything, but if you go to, let's say, our big one over here, then you'll see that our cube is now separated into floors. And it looks like over here we have just two floors. So in our 10 by 10 by 10 cube, we have two floors where the floor itself falls on the fifth floor, or on the fifth block, not the fifth floor. So that is essentially how you make floors. And you can make this as big as you want. Um, Let's say we want it to be uh, six spaces. So on every every six of those, they'll drop a floor on the seventh one. So if you wanted larger rooms, there you go. Uh, I actually found that four works quite well, and I will show you by running around. <laughs> There we go. So floor is a, in my opinion, kind of a nice, it allows you to still jump. And yeah. So anyways, that's how you get floors. Um, next tutorial, we will be uh, separating this room in half and sticking a window in there um, so that we can get some light in. So it's not just a barren room. All right, stay tuned.